Chase was talking, Chase was asked about the quarterbacks yesterday, and he said, you know, what he's looking for in seven on seven is when one of the young guys will tell an old receiver, like Chris Bird, you're in the wrong place, you need to do this. And he said he hasn't seen that assertiveness yet from any of those guys. Is that just a product of you know, them being younger and how do you kind of accelerate that process to so one of them is willing to be the guy? Well, I mean, hopefully Chase is making the right assessment on uh, what the receivers are supposed to be doing, too. Uh, but, I, but, I, but I think that uh, part of the, uh, the development of the quarterbacks through what Coach Lazier has put together with film study, uh, through uh, you know, self-evaluation analysis, is that uh, you, know, you have to be more of a vocal leader, um, that, you, that your confidence is going to be gained through your, your performance on the field. And uh, I guess uh, some of the some of the best critics will be their, you know, their own teammates. You know, for, as far as the coaching staff is concerned, um, when we sat down, we talked to each one of those guys about the, the measured amount of, of uh, improvement they're going to have to make in order for them to to, to play and, 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 and to warrant having reps. Um, what's tough sometimes is I've always believed that the, the biggest gain is through, as I said, when the last spring practice is over, to them getting ready to report here uh, next week because you know the NCAA doesn't allow you to be with uh, your strength coaches, your MVP. Uh, so whatever they're doing now, whatever organizational skills, whatever leadership skills they've developed, they have to have developed it now because um, you know the seven on sevens and the patent goes and the and the team workouts. Because if you're not developing that now and other people are developing it, then uh, then. You're going to be relying on other, you know, other positions, and you know it, it may be a case that the, the other positions on our team, uh, respective to the quarterbacks, have an experienced offensive line, having wide receivers that have been in games before, have an experienced tight end, you know, have an experienced back that maybe their level of play will have to raise to the level yes, of being able to support a quarterback that uh, that hasn't uh, been in that that strong leadership position. So we'll be able to see early on, hopefully tell early on. You know, where these guys are and, and how far um, they, they've moved either ahead, stayed the same, or, or, or taken a step backwards. When do you want to have a decision on you know, just which guy you want to go with? You know, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, the first couple of weeks in practice, you always, you're always dealing with um, getting better as, as a team. You're going good on good. You want to see the fundamentals of, 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 of a quarterback, his drops, the way he throws. You know, reacting to a defense is just practicing playing the defense, and then later on you start getting into the game planning, the specifics of the team that your teams you're going to be preparing for. So I would say as we get into, you know, get into a few practices, is to see who, who and where, and how much they they've developed, their, you know, their, their game. Um, so that's going to be important for the quarterback because uh, you know they touch the ball 100 percent of the time, and you want to make sure there's enough evaluation, you know, to assess where they are. And, uh, and I would say about, like I said, about midway through, through practices as we're still going good on good, that um, hopefully we'll start to get some type of, some type of uh, determination on that. I mean, do you think it'll be done before the season starts, or do you see it maybe lasting until the you know, first game? It, you know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to tell whether before the season starts. I'd like it to be before the season starts, so as you get into you know, the week before, the game week, the official game week, that, that you have a guy that you know is number one, one is number two. You don't want to, you don't want it to carry on and linger because you can't give, you know, can't give four guys, three guys a rep, the reps to try to find out who number one is. You, so you try to, to find out, we're going to find out early who one and two are, and three will be a guy that probably be the travel quarterback or scout team quarterback, and you eliminate one and have to. Uh, Perhaps redshirt that that one, but uh, that, that's going to be dictated early on when you know everything being relatively the same. The expectations of just run our plays against our defense and then see the progress that these guys have made uh, from that point.